Thank you for spending your Sunday with us. I'm Shannon Bream. Nice to have you back. Nice to be with you at home. I'm Leland Vittert. Welcome to America's election headquarters from Washington. A local pastor blames a bad economy for fueling the rage that erupted in Milwaukee last night. As you can see from these pictures, rioters torched a number of buildings following the fatal police shooting of a fleeing suspect in a predominantly black neighborhood. We are told that that suspect was armed. Pastor Richard Bush says residents, quote, have nothing to do but destroy stuff and destroy stuff they did last night. President Obama has been briefed on the situation. Matt Finn is there on the ground as police now get ready for what could be another violent night. Hi, Matt. Hey, Leland. Well, here is the aftermath, the remnants of a gas station just completely totaled by fire. This is still an active scene. Police have been coming, collecting evidence and taking pictures. Good Samaritans have been here all morning helping clean and offering prayer. The county sheriff has asked for the National Guard to come in because this is still a very tense situation. What we know is that police say at 3.30 in the afternoon yesterday, two officers stopped two men. We're not sure why they were stopped, but both of those men took off running. At some point, uh, the police officer shot and killed one of those suspects. Police say that suspect was armed with a stolen automatic weapon. Now, after that shooting, the rioting and looting broke out here in Milwaukee. The mayor says people took to social media, urging neighbors to make trouble. Eventually, this gas station here was lit with three people inside. Those people are safe. Uh, firefighters could not get to this fire because there was a lot of gunshots going off, and so this thing just completely burnt to the ground. I want to bring in Keith Bailey. Keith lives in the area. Keith, you you say you feel that the owners of this gas station were targeted. Well, the owners of the gas station have they've been in a little back and forth between the citizens of the community about some unfair treatment, about some unjust treatment for the last two or three months. And as a result of that, it seemed like the gas station was just a target. What is that unfair treatment? Uh, they felt, I guess, there was an organization or group of folks that are here. They're out here today that said, hey, we are going to this station. It's in our community, but we haven't been treated right by the owners of the gas station. We've been treated unfairly. So people of the black community feel that they were mistreated by the owners of this gas station, and you feel that was perhaps why this was lit last night? Neighbors of the community don't know their nationality, but the neighbors do feel like they've been treated unfairly. There was a broad range of folks that were actually here protesting months prior. Thank you very much, Keith. Now, there's been a strong police presence in the area for blocks. Uh, police say that will continue into the night. Neighbors say they are concerned this whole thing could happen again tonight. The mayor is urging parents to keep track of their children. Take a listen. If you love your son, if you love your daughter, text them, call them, pull them by the ears, and get them home. Get them home right now before more damage is done. Fortunately, no reports of any major injuries, and we are working to confirm how many people were arrested. Leland, back to you. Real quick, Matt, any idea when the National Guard is going to show up? We're not sure. The uh, county sheriff has requested them, and we're keeping track of when they might show up. We learned the president has been briefed as well. So we'll keep you guys updated. Well, the Guard certainly made a difference in Baltimore. We'll see when they show up in Milwaukee. Thanks, Matt.